says, if I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Oh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. your life the sinkhole your foot what you'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound fine two times then the sinkhole and just now hey let me see that leave it it's nothing hey I'm fine come on roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already this is not an admission. Now let me see. Uh, it's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. You ever hear about the North Pole? Huh. That old fairy tale? <laughs> yeah. Like this ward. Old white guy founds it. Food and fresh water everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer out here. You think people actually live like this? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. <laughs> yeah.
great. Ugh, we can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's gotta be another way through. Hey, Eagle Eye. See if you can squeeze your ass through that hole up there. Over here. about time. What took you? Hey, look at this. to these poor bastards. Can't let it go to waste. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. <laughs> Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and the bugs. Over here.
Oh, this is bad. This is bad with a side of broccoli. A side of what? Nothing. Uh, something my ma used to say. Starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. All gone after all. No. Ain't no way the war's real. How would a nest like this out here? Nope. Maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out.
It's okay. You're safe. Whoa, whoa, hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo! We still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. It's not far from here, but the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out.
dead would know they've lost. But they won't lay down without a fight. shooting traveler yeah I had some practice I'll bet but don't worry words as safe a place as any safer so it's really real food and water and folks living with some old white guy <laughs> more or less <coughs> whoa whoa let me get you some more Ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... We need to get her to the ward, and quick. <clears throat> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving, before we lose the light. Take good care of her. Welcome to Ward 13. Hey, don't worry. Briggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. 
Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Bo! He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... Well, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. it is here some days like nothing's going on yeah kind of boring if you ask me i'd like a little more adventure in my life sometimes hey yeah. you're the, the newcomer world. ain't you we can sneak off Nora Camarillo. do some exploring i in keep the old folks ward. alive around here just you and me you know you're lucky they found you if when they did you your friend yeah. was pretty bad or i got her just in just time hang out here pretty much any part of your flesh prison breaks down, you come to me. There ain't much I haven't seen before. Need anything? I'm here. And that's final. I don't remember asking... Uh, <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Whoa, what have we here? Ah, the... Traveler, of course. Wallace said... Yes. Uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. Who, specifically? All right, Traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. Hey, 
if you're looking for Wally, I mean, <laughs> Wallace, he's, uh, he's over at the docks. Lots of nice folks here. Talk to him, you'll see. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Greetings! Forgive me. Ooh, it is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Pax to take a part without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxel take name is Dwell. I sell crystals from my world. They make Paxel pick faster, stronger, more powerful. They help it defeat its enemies. <laughs> and the <laughs> until we meet once more. Well, ain't you a right mutter, traipsing in here like you own the place. Ha, <laughs> I'm just pulling you. Name's Brabus, and I run security around here. Well, seeing as you got the mayor's personal approval, I reckon you're his problem now. I also make sure folks hereabouts can protect themselves. They ain't just the root kicking around. A lot of folks still ain't chummy with this hole. I used to be one of them. Up until about 20 years ago, I ran a pack called the Mud Dogs. We took what we wanted and killed anyone who crossed us. It was a dog-eat-dog -dog world back then. We all did what we had to to survive. Uh, things might be different. Watch your back. Can't know who to trust out there. Looking for Wallace. Uh, he's up there. Best view in town. I see you, traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you wanted to. Makes a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. I'll see you again, traveler.
swear to God and my mother. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? I swear, if that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words. Percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So, either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what, I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. to help with whatever journey he saw you on just tell wally to be more specific next time yeah so we're done here right or do i need the hammer again can't say this has been fun what do you need <sighs> look it's not personal i just don't like being distracted I get into a zone, you know? Pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. If I am already regretting all of this. How's the ward treating you? I could treat you worse if you like. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks. You tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. you worse if you like. What you looking for? That'll do. Keep your gun loaded and your wits about you, stranger. to see you're all right. What can I do for you? That's right, but everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back on, do you? Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Ha, <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Pravis. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment.
I'm not talking about this right now. Traveler returns. They don't like it when I help you, but it is the role I must play. Until next time. You look like you could help an old man take on the world. <laughs> you ready to do this? Glad to hear it. Follow me. the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. Stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. <laughs> 